discovery is a process. It starts on the page, you know. So you, I don't read a script and go, okay, I know exactly what that character is. And, you know, it's a journey. It's a process with the writers and with the actors, with the directors. And uh, I still don't know if I got the character yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Everything was on the page. Um, and then bringing that into you know, the scenes with, with Denzel, um, it, you know, that took on its own life. My favorite uh, part of the entire process is uh, the editing process. And that's where everything comes, comes together. And, uh, um, you know, it's, it's, the final, it's the final rewrite of the movie, which, I, which, is, which is always which is great. And putting the music in and finding the right piece of music is, uh, is all, you know, all part of that process. For me, this, this was about like my two greatest fears, kind of. It was like drinking myself to death or dying in a plane crash. And I was like, well, I'll just put them together. And <laughs> so, um, you know, it became this, this like odd, odyssey. And I was writing the movie for myself because I didn't have a boss. I was writing it on spec, really. So. I was able to kind of examine, you know, this character's story, and I let the character tell this story, and I wasn't, you know, and when Bob came on, he was like, look, trust your instinct, which had you tell this story from this character's point of view. So as much as I would say to Bob, well, you know what, like, these two characters, like Hugh and, and, and uh, Ellen Block, they could argue about, and he was like, no, it's stay in Whip's point of view. So that was a great thing that, you know, when Bob and I started collaborating, he said, stay in that voice and just tell that story of this guy's, you know, journey and swirl and swirl. Yeah, it's a good know. drama, you know, they're, they're, they're hard to find these days. You know, and this speaks to, you know, the screenplay being as good as it, as it was and us being on a very, very um, uh, tight shooting schedule because um, we worked really hard to make sure that we weren't in, you know, we, that we had every precious day um, that we were shooting was going to be used to make sure we got what we needed on the screen. We did that in the in the screenwriting process. So this movie that we ne we didn't lift a single scene in the editing. I mean, we tightened them up, but every single scene that we shot uh, is uh, is in the movie. I don't read a whole lot of scripts, but it, this was just that rare screenplay. I mean, as soon as I read it, I, I was in. I was like, man, this is good. This is just rich this is you know i don't have to shoot a gun or <laughs> jump off a building or some craziness <laughs> so it, it it was it was a real easy decision and uh, that's a credit to john it says together. something about our rotten society today when <laughs> an obviously deranged cocaine dealer gets brings such light-hearted antics to a movie. <laughs> What, how did you put that character together? With uh, spit and glue and uh, a lot of that fake blow. <laughs> they let me take some of that home. And I, I took it to after hours joints and made, made a couple of grand. <laughs> so it wasn't like we had to go to Atlanta and make it look like L.A. Um, so it was great. I mean, it, it had that perfect look for, the, for, the, for what the film was. So, uh, yeah, we, we tried to shoot um, as much in continuity as we could. And... Um, and everybody knew that we were on a very tight schedule, and everybody came, uh, you know, ready to work. You know, it was it was actually, uh, you know, the shoot was very smooth. We had a, you know, we didn't have many days that we lost for weather and things like that, so it was good. It's a it's a body of work, so, you know, I don't say, oh, that's the, I've done that before. I, I can't wait to the big scene. I can't wait. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And you screw it up, right? <laughs> You've overthought it and overworked it, so. Uh, I just look at the, at, the, at the whole screenplay. I read about people's fear of flying, too. A third of people have an acute fear of flying. Acute fear of flying. So that means when you get on an airplane, that energy you're feeling, that's the 33.3% of the people on that plane that are like, I really don't want to be on this plane. <laughs> you know, that's an intense energy. And I'm, you know, I'm one of them, probably, putting that energy out there. And it was funny, because Denzel said we were on a panel and somebody said, well, you know, uh, what did you think about, you know, it being a pilot who has this issue? And he said, well, John did a really dramatic thing by making him a pilot. It's like, that's the most dramatic thing you could do. He's like, if he'd worked at the post office, it wouldn't have been as dramatic. He's like, you wouldn't get your mail. It's like, you know. <laughs> it's like, so, you know, it was like, so, I mean, you know. Or you get it real fast. <laughs> <laughs> but it really, really, really has to be there overnight. Right, you get Harling Mays and your mail is there before you even, you know. And it's opened. <laughs>